Hello, so I am about to get started on my daily drawing for today and I thought I will just screen record as I'm drawing and I was about to do a question mark and talk through my process. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my Discord because this morning I actually asked some of my Discord members to give me some ideas. So we ended up talking about other things and one person actually sent in their son's um, baseball team. They want a baseball player and he plays for the Tigers. And so why not? I'm not going to show the kids faces just because, you know, they're kids, got to protect the kiddos. But um, this is the team picture, which I've already seen. Um, I'm also going to pull it up on my screen on my computer. But I also took a screenshot um, of just one of the one of the jerseys. So I'm going to insert that photo now. And it just looks like that. Now I'm going to pull up the rest of that photo on my computer. And then um, I want to have the baseball player be in um, sorry. <laughs> I want to have the baseball player be like in a an action stance. So I'm going to just Google um Baseball, like I always have a reference photo, so baseball player images, um, and I don't really know like exactly what stance I want yet, so I'm kind of just using this as a way to sort of like get inspiration too. Um, I think I want one like hitting the ball. What's that called? The batter? I want a batter. But this is also pretty fun. Hmm. It's process. Let's see. Wow. What do we think? <laughs> I feel like huh, this one's pretty fun too. Let's try baseball player batter. Also, I have a meeting in. 19 minutes, so I'm hoping to get this done by then. Let's see if I can do it. If I keep standing here. See, like, this is fun, but I have that golfer. I have a golfer dog, and it's kind of similar, so I think I'm gonna go and do this one. So I'm just gonna save it, and then I'll put it, usually I would just have it on my computer, but just so you guys can see, um, I'll put it as a reference. So here we are, I've got the jersey. I'm actually gonna put the jersey away for now because I don't really need it. And now I always like to start off with a blue pencil brush. Um, blue is kind of like when you're drawing like cartoons, it's just like the standard color you sketch in. It doesn't really matter because I can, you know, change it later with Procreate, but that's just kind of how I do it. And then, um, I always start with the head, and then if it's like a figure in motion, I'll kind of like draw the lines out for like the direction of the motion, if that makes sense, because like, you know, he's got, ooh, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. He has, um, he's got a lot going on, let's just say that. So, and then I'm just kind of like blocking everything out. Um, if they have clothes on, it definitely helps to use that like as a reference. And in no way, shape, or form am I concerned right now about how it looks. That's like a pretty key thing because like if I sit down and the first thing I start drawing within like 10 minutes or however many minutes like doesn't look good and I get discouraged like waste of time you know like just just keep doing it keep drawing until until it looks good and if it doesn't look good on this pass just start over or just keep drawing over actually that's even better uh, I'm just gonna move it into the middle let's see so yeah, at this point now, I've kind of got a lot of lines. I don't want to get super confused. Um, so I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm going to turn 
the opacity down on this one. I just double tapped on the layer. Turn it down to 50. I mean, honestly, usually I just like throw it down to whatever. But, um, and now I'm still going to use my sketching pencil because this does not nearly look ready, which is fine. Just going to keep going. And then I might also like pull up a reference of a dog if I'm like having trouble. Don't they wear a helmet or does only the batter wear a helmet? In the comments, let me know, I guess. <laughs> I thought that everyone would wear a helmet, because there's gonna be baseballs all over the place, but I'm not much of a baseball gal. Uh, I'm not much of a sports gal, besides jujitsu. If you already follow me, you probably know that. So, yeah, struggling with this hat. But again, it's just like, just, who cares? Like, just, just do it. Just keep going, and even if like it doesn't start to look good at all, try again tomorrow. It's fine. I hope these aren't just like super vague. <laughs> I guess they are super vague suggestions, but it's kind of I don't know. It's hard to like philosophize while I'm doing this, and I'm trying to finish in 15 minutes too. So maybe on the next one. I think I think people will prefer this shorter anyway. Uh, so now, like, now that I have the head, like, I can really pay attention to each aspect of, like, the uniform and, like, where the, like, um, so you can see here the shoulder comes out kind of, like, of the mouth. So even though it's a dog, I'm still, like, following the, the overall form. And then it kind of curves here. And then... Here's the jersey, the arm, and then it curves again. I literally have no idea, like, why his arm would look like this. Maybe, maybe if Luna's son is watching, he could answer some of my baseball questions. That's who requested this drawing. All right, now go here. If you have like any questions on topics or like art topics or art techniques, I mean, I mean, I can try to help. I always feel weird. Like, I hope I can. I don't always feel weird because I do teach people. But if anyone has questions, like, I feel weird having that vague of an offer. This is my first vlog, by the way. I guess it's not a vlog. This is my first time doing this, so. <laughs> I hope, I hope you guys like it if you're watching, if you're still watching. Okay, please definitely give me feedback. Ugh, that arm looks weird, but you know what? I'm gonna keep, 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 keep it going. Cause it's just like, as you like keep looking at whatever picture you're looking at, or even just trying to draw something, even if you don't have a picture for it, which I would always recommend getting a picture, even if you're drawing something that doesn't like exist like some kind of world like just at least for like dimension and like sizing and I don't know just I always like pictures I really hope my gulp wasn't like so loud <laughs> but I feel like it probably was okay just trying to get these curves in what do we got I've got 12 minutes do we think I can do it that would be pretty crazy I don't know if I'll be able to fully cover it or color it oh my god wait no I don't do shoes I do a pa uh, pause feet pause he needs those socks though hmm nah I'll just do it yeah I'll do it like this like that's the sock so it's like you just need the paws no matter what pretty much all my doggos don't wear shoes they just have paws I like how it like <laughs> cinches around the knee. Is that the right word? Okay. Oh, okay. I guess it looks kind of good now. Let's see. See what I mean? It's just like, just keep on developing. I feel like people really like 
are perfectionists a lot, especially like the kids I work with, it's like you gotta just like let it look terrible and as you keep developing it, it's just gonna, it's gonna continue to develop, you know? All right, let's see what's going on here with the um, jersey. Hmm. Can I do this font? Looks like maybe I can. It's just so helpful. A lot of my kids do, like my kids that I teach, even after I like tell them to use a pencil whenever they're like, even if I have a finished drawing, but then I'm like, wait, no, I want to add like something or I want to redo the, the hand, I will still re, I'll still get the pencil out. Cause it's like, why not? Just like take, as soon as the pen tool is, is chosen, the amount of like pressure, at least for me, that I have, it's so much higher. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I could just do this with the pen tool. And then, and then I try and I'm like, I can't. And then I get the pencil. It's like first try is perfect. <laughs> just because I don't, I don't have to make it perfect. Like, I feel like that's such a big thing that I try to tell people is like, stop trying to be perfect with your art because some days it's going to look good. And some days it's not, even if you've been drawing for years, like that's just how it goes. And then of course I need a paw print. This is a dog. I wonder what number. So I don't, I should say this. I don't take, I don't take requests so much, but I am very happy if you go into my Discord, like I just showed you. Here, I'll show you again. If you go into my Discord and just go to the ideas too, I will block that out go into the, you probably won't be able to see it since I moved it so fast. Um, go in, so this is general, and then the idea is, is here. Send in an idea, if I like it, I'll draw it. And if you want me to, I mean, I also don't private list just to be fair to everyone, but um, if I like it too, I will probably mint it. And then if you like it and you want it, you are more than welcome to grab it. But also no pressure. If you request it and I draw it and you don't like it or you don't want it, all good. Maybe you just want to see it drawn. Not, not very many, uh, I don't know, set rules or no pressure with any of that, I guess. I gotta remember. Well, I bet you even if you pause it, because I moved the picture down so fast. It really doesn't. I doubt the kids, like, parents care, but I don't want to be the one to upset anyone with that. So, you can't be too careful. With of kiddos. I also feel like YouTube is always asking me like, is this is this video for kids? It's like no, but like kids can watch. I don't really get it, so I don't want to mess around. All right. Now I'm ready to ink. What time do we have? Let's see. I'm turning the opacity down. Also, I turned off that bottom layer because I don't need it anymore. If, if this still did if I still didn't like how it looked, guess what? I would do another pencil layer, but I do like how it looks now. What time are we at? Let's see. Okay, eight minutes. Oh my gosh. If I can do this, that would be insane. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm just inking over, and I'm still looking at the picture because it's like, the drawing wasn't perfect. This hat is not where I would like it to be. So I can still add in some more details, of course, but like when I when I first started out with this style and everything, I was perfecting my sketch. Like not drawing a single thing with the pen until the sketch looked perfect. So I would have had this, I would have had this hat perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean exactly how I wanted it for that day. Um, I just didn't really have the confidence yet to do things like what I'm doing now where like obviously the paw underneath looked different but I'm changing it up now and I'm doing the same with these with this face but again if you feel like you're not ready for that just sketch it out and sketch it out until you're ready and that's if you want to create something like totally you know I don't want to say perfect, but like looking exactly how you want it to. If you just want to like sit down and draw something, don't do this. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just saying like to to like 
improve your skills, I think, at least for me, it takes, it takes this kind of practice of like doing and redoing and being okay with that overall. Let's see. It looks weird right now, like the ears going into his mouth, but I think it'll make sense once I color it. I think their jerseys are a little different, so. Comes down like this. Okay. Oh, and it's like cut here. Interesting. Five minutes, I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna be finished, but that's okay. It would've been really cool if I could've done that. I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay, now his paw. It's gonna be weird. Let's see. Does that look? Oh, that actually looks kinda good. Okay, cool. And then I think a baseball goes like that. Baseball y, right? That's how it goes. I'm still trying. Five minutes. Okay, let's do it. Um, I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> what else to talk about? Um, actually, okay, so this is helpful. Something like this is like with all the dimensions and stuff, it can be really overwhelming. At least for me, especially if you're drawing like hands, I like to simplify it down to shapes. So actually, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna erase this. So you can see here, like okay, it comes up that way around the arm. It's actually curved. It's really just about looking and seeing. So then I have like this curve here, and it comes around like that, and then I have this kind of like triangle shape right there. So this line will come out from here and then kind of connect there. And I'm still struggling with this, so that's important to note as well. Oh, and you know what? This kind of is like has a side to it or whatever, a thickness. And then got it. Okay. Kind of. I don't love this. I'm gonna come back to that. Let's see what else we got. I hope this is helpful. Like, I feel like I talk about this kind of a lot in my lives, in my live shows and stuff, but like even artists who like this is like this is my full-time thing like this is what I do and it's not always gonna look good I'm gonna be trying to explain how to do something <laughs> like draw this mitt and it's not gonna look good and that's okay like it's fine I still know that I have like capabilities in art and that like I don't know I like my art doesn't mean everything I do is always gonna be perfect right away So, I'm trying to think of what to do here. I think I might, yeah, I'm just gonna do this in black because I'm here, but then I'll probably use a clipping mask later for this text so that um, I can change the color. This is fun, this like lettering. But this is another thing too that I definitely, if I tried to just like go in and do this with the pen, would not. Like the, the, the inking tool that I'm using now would not have worked. Gotta take that pressure off always. I had this line here, but those jerseys don't have them, but these jerseys do have this thing, like this black kind of pattern along the armpit. So, 
All right, I kind of like this so far. Oh, I have one minute. Let's see if I can, let's see if she is willing to, to play because I really want to finish this. You ready now? Or maybe can we do 10 minutes? That's all I need. If not, I can just pause it, but I'm trying to do minimal editing if possible. Let's see. Let's see what she says. Alright, I'm gonna keep drawing in the meantime. So. Let's get rid of this. This looks pretty fun. I actually kind of like how this glove looks. Is that what it's called? The glove? Could probably use like a little more something. Let's see. Ooh, I want this to be like curved. Like in my picture. His wrist is curved. If anyone like draws after this, please share it with me on like Instagram or Discord or whatever. Like if you try to draw like a baseball player or anything, please, please, please share because it'll absolutely make my day if I see that I was able to like inspire someone else to create. That's like, that's pretty much my dream. So even if it, even if you don't like how it looks, doesn't mean others might not like it or if you like it, others might not, and that is also totally fine. Ugh. I don't know how to get these fingers. I guess that kind of looks, yeah. It's not really how it's like actually, I guess, and yeah, here we go. Like that. Honestly, not ideal, but I want to take off this little bow. I might play with it later once I color it in and everything. Just gotta keep moving. Keep on moving. Okay, so let's get the color of the jersey. That's what I thought was gonna happen. So even though like if you're looking at this, it totally looks orange, just the lighting of the picture made it look very red. So I'm just gonna kind of find my own color, which I like this one. And then I like to use the studio pen to ink, or sorry, to color in, um, because it's like, it's very similar to the technical pen where if you put it, it's pressure sensitive, but this one can go like really tiny or it can get really big quickly. So like if I'm painting much bigger, a much bigger area, I can do it quickly. Whereas with the technical pen, it doesn't paint as much, it doesn't get as big, but that's good when I'm just inking over a sketch because I don't want it to get very big on the ink side. Okay, and then let's do like navy blue for their pants. What else, what else? I would love to hear like what stopped, if you ever are stopped from creating, like why is that? What what stops you if you're like, oh, I could create right now, or if you just like don't ever create, like why not? I'd love to hear that, if you have anything to share. Um, I'm just gonna color, cause there's probably background music playing right now that I put over. Music, by Joseph Capalbo obsessed with what Joseph makes. Um, okay, so now orange socks or whatever. Orange, <laughs> they're kind of more like leg warmers, but that works. Maybe it's like a cold day. If 
for baseball. <laughs> Okay, just gonna double check. We're at 25 minutes right now. That's probably like a good amount. Um, okay, so now I have these colors. Now I'm gonna decide. Sometimes I'll use this app called Coolers to get the colors. Um, oh, um, okay, she's ready. I am going to. I'm probably gonna have to leave in a second, but that's okay. I don't know why I thought I could do this in 25 minutes. That's kind of crazy, huh? I think I'll do like a tan doggy. Like okay. I don't know what color this would be. Uh, I'm trying to think of colors that like would look good with. The jersey colors. I gotta go. I'll be right back. I'm back. Hello. Um, just had my quick meeting, and now we're ready. I was planning out Tuesday's episode of Miss Manda Live. So you've got some behind the scenes. <laughs> kind of, not really. Um. Okay. I gotta get back to this page. Where is it? So, kind of just going with it. Sometimes colors are a little harder to choose, but for this, it's kind of simple because it's a uniform. Yeah, but I think I was saying I use cooler sometimes. C O O L, cool. I think O R S dot com. And it might be E R S, but I think it's O R S. Um, and with that one, you can, it creates color palettes for you. So you can just choose a random one, or you can also like select one, select a few colors and then find other colors that fit with it. I really like it. I think it can really like transform my, my pieces. Okay, back again. So... Alright, now I have pretty much all the base colors in. I'll kind of just erase as I'm going, um, but I will also then just kind of start adding in what I call the shading, which it's not like the most intuitive shading, but I kind of just make it work. Kind of just the style that I go for. So every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific, I host an Instagram live show where we draw live together, me and another female artist. And usually we'll do like derivatives of each other's work. So um, like, for example, um, Saba, she does the fuzzy mints. So we're both gonna draw like fuzzy mint dogs. So she draws these like fuzzy little creatures and they're super fun. And then I obviously draw dogs, so we're gonna like both kind of combine them and see what happens. So I think that will be fun. 
That should be a good time. It's on Instagram Live. Follow me at Miss Manda Art. Two A's in there. Um, and we do that every Tuesday, so it's super fun. My mom, like, I think this might actually be the 31st episode or something like that. It's, like, my favorite thing because I get to watch other artists work. And I've had people from all over the world, like, just all over. And I just love that I can connect with people like this. Like, this is not something that people have always been able to do remotely. So, very honored and blessed. So, yeah, I'm just kind of adding in, like, I just get a lighter color for the tint, then darker color for the shadow, and basically wherever I think something would be darker, <laughs> I make it darker. If it's lighter, I make it lighter. Oops. Do the same thing with the fur. With everything, really. And like as I'm drawing the things will kind of just start to get less messy as I get those highlights in. I forgot the eyebrows there. I always do the eyes like this, like, I take the darker color, turn the opacity down, color in the half circle, go over it. I don't know why. I just do it, and I really like how it looks, and then I add a little shadow under the eyelid as well with black, but not fully black with the opacity down. I kind of want to get rid of some of this shading now. It looks weird. getting there. Just finishing the last few little details. I don't know what time I'm at now. I'll probably cut it down a little bit um, just to not bore you all. <laughs> Actually, I can check on the canvas how long just in case anyone's interested. I'll check once I finish how long it took me. So with like these kinds of things, like the way I shade the paws, the way I shade the eyes are always the same. And it's kind of nice to just like have my set way of doing it. But again, that's like another thing that just takes time. Like. Even still, sometimes I'll just change the way I shade certain things because I'm like looking at it, I'm like, huh, it would look better if I did it this way. So I try it and then I'm like, yep, that definitely looks better. I can't believe I've been doing it that way for so long. Uh, but, you know, can only move forward. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's like 
I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have like set ways of doing things for sure. Especially when you have like a whole collection, like my NFT collection. Now I gotta go get the groceries within 28 minutes. Busy day over here. All right, I think I just have to do this mitt, glove. So for this, I'm because I know it would be darker. I can see it in the picture too. Um, I take the darker shade from the regular part of it, fill that in as the whole base, and then go back to the regular, like this base color, and use that as the highlight. Hopefully that just made sense. Okay. I don't really like these little black dots here. Okay. I kind of like it. I think, he, wow, I actually, not to toot my own horn, but I actually really like this. So uh, now I'll just add in like some little bits of movement or action, movement. I don't know. That's good. Oh, and then a background color. Let's see. What do you think? Ooh, yeah. That's the one. All right, here he is, our little tiger space ball player. Oh, I gotta, <laughs> classic. I gotta add a little bit of shading to here and on the font. See, I said I was gonna change the color of the font, but I kinda like it this way. And I'm totally just guessing with this, and then I'm gonna look and see. Yeah, I like it, okay. Now I'm done, <laughs> I think. I'll probably still mess with it after this, but yep, here, look at this. This is how it always goes. I'm like, okay, I'm done. And then I realize I forgot a million things. So I might just cut it here or, you know, I'll just show it. Maybe I'll cut some other parts out for time. All right, now I'm done, I think, for now. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Subscriptions, if you subscribe, that would be awesome. <laughs> if you like this. And um, tune in, Miss Manda Live, to watch more live art being created with me and other artists. And let me know if you have any questions. Always available on Discord, TikTok, not TikTok. <laughs> Discord, Instagram, Twitter, email, stuff like that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.